Today's how to build is on this evil robot baseball team. Evil robot baseball team. So we're gonna start with this batter, who I thought was funny, because he's got a giant bat as part of his body, which fell off. But um, okay, starting down at the bottom here. So this is the uh, new turntable plate that LEGO has started using. What I've done here, because I didn't have uh, the uh, bricks, is I've put four of these four by four round plates stacked on top of each other. That all goes on top of the uh, turntable plate. Then I've got this empty open cylinder from the Toy Story Pizza Planet truck. Uh, so that's going to be his uh, foot over there. Uh, let's work on the uh, body. So this is an eight long axle. Going to put uh, axle to pin 90 degree to connect connector. Uh, Going to put one of these wheel well pieces. Not sure what the official name is for that sort of thing. Uh, axle to axle connector over here. Push that up to there. Push that over there. Put a 2x2 two two plate over there. And stick this whole thing in the foot on the top. Um, this is a three long axle. This is an axle to axle 90 degree connection thing. Uh, this is what I like to call the Technic Owl Eye piece because it looks like a little owl to me. So I'm sticking a whole bunch of um, trans orange one by one rounds into that. There's two there and three there. With the other owl eye I've done two and three like so. Stick these on these other sides of the axle. Get another wheel well. Push it through and then connect it to the uh, the axle like so. So he's looking pretty good. Now he just needs a big ridiculous bat. Oh, let's make his head face that way. Uh, so bottom of the bat, this is two cylinders and a two by two plate. On top I've got two cylinders. And then uh, six two by two cylinders. Uh, and at the very top, I've got this two by two, um, sort of the boat bottom piece, makes things slide well along the floor and it rounds the bat out nicely. Stick those together, stick these into that connection. Now he's ready to swing and miss. Second evil baseball robot, this guy who uh, likes to steal bases by sneaking side steps in because he's got a really long legs. I don't know how he would bat though, but that's okay. So I stole this leg build from some old Bionicle thing. And if you remember the leg shark video, I think I used these legs uh, without explaining how to build them. So I'm just gonna show through real quick. This is a big bionicle foot with some, I don't know what, five long axles stuck through it. It's a weird axle size. Then we've got this sort of quarter circle half lift arm with a two long axle stuck into it. Um, and then that goes this way. And then on the other side, well first, so then this is the ball joint to axle connection. And stuck into that is a single sphere, if I could get it out. Oh, no, it's this weird, huh, that's a weird piece. Almost like the sphere, but not quite. Well, anyway, that's on a long axle with the circle end. I have no idea what the official name for this thing is. But uh, this snaps in back here. Another one of these. And again, this is from a Lego set, so apologies. 
all around. Then up here, uh, these are some small lift arms. Again, axle to ball joint connection. This is a four long axle going through there. Um, this weird piece, I don't know, it's definitely used as a, uh, it slides, what are those things called? Suspension? You can tell that Technic is not my forte. So that all connects in like that. The other leg is the same, just on the opposite direction. So basically that means the top axle goes in a different way. Then the uh, body of this guy, which was what I actually devised myself, as opposed to those legs which I stole. Um, this is just a weird, or this is just one of the bionicle body parts that I filled in with some Technic half pins, added the ball joint to axle connections on the sides. This is a half with lift arm piece that's a triangle with a doodly doo on top. And then these are just uh, trans orange cones that I filled out those five spots with. And now it's, you know, got a weird eye face. And then uh, connect the legs to the body like so, so that the head hangs down in the middle and he can do his sneaky side to side movements. Evil robot. Third evil baseball robot, Wheelie McWheelerson. So we'll start with the wheels. These are really old school Lego wheels. Some of the earliest ones I remember. I don't know if they actually come off. The tires do, but I don't think the wheels do. They're connected to this two by four brick. But you know, these could be any sort of wheels. But red was good in the color scheme I've got for the evil robots. Two by six brick, connecting these two two by four wheel contraptions. Those are the wheels of Wheelie McWheelerson. Uh, then this piece, this is a big wheel well. This is a, a regular sized wheel well with a big tire around it. Same with the big wheel wells. And then this is a uh, eight length axle. So a wheel, wheel well, big wheel well. Big wheel well. It's fun to say. Big wheel well. Two by two round brick. That's what's going to fit onto Willie McWheelerson's wheels. On top, two by two round brick. Not sure why this one is in brown, but it is. It doesn't really matter as much. So that all fits on very nicely. You can see it's already fun to wheel him around. Then we come to the arms. So uh, this is a one by two Technic brick. We're just gonna stick on top, two of those, and we'll build the wheels. This is an old Throbot head, though uh, it may have showed up in some Bionicle stuff, but I had a lot of the Throbots. Hold on one second. So take this uh, axle to 90 degree axle Hole connector, put an axle to pin connector in there, then stick this into the uh, throwbot head axle connection there and stick a two long axle through. And then it's hard to get out because you have to push it out with an axle, but it's fine. Then this is a weird octagonal slanty brick um, back from the aqua zone days, which I'm, it's cool about these throwbot heads is they can actually fit bricks onto them. And then uh, again, some octagonal brick from uh, old timeies, but you could use some other brick that has studs on two sides. Stick that in like so. And then I've got this big claw piece that becomes the arm or the hand. The other arm is the same, but backwards or reversed. 
stick these into the Technic holes up here. And then the head. The head is just a uh, one by two Technic brick with two holes and a one by six Technic brick with the normal five holes. And then I filled this in with some, um, again, orange rounds. So there's one on each of these, two, 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 and this I did a gray one and then two. Not sure why I did it exactly that way, but that's how I did it. So there you go. And then you put the head on top and you've got Wheelie McWheels and the evil robot baseball player. Wheelie McWheelers and... Um, last but not least on your evil robot baseball team, you've got this guy who's got big shoulder pads but a skinny skinny body and he uh, is sad because they lost. So he goes, he cries very briefly in Robots, Robots, Robots. Very briefly. Let's build him. So this leg is mostly old Throbot pieces. I apologize for any of you who don't have any Throbot pieces, but Bionicle or Hero Factory pieces are same idea. Axle to ball joint connection. This is just one of the old Throbot leg arm pieces. And then this is one of the old Throbot shoulder pieces, but it allows for axle and pin connections. So we've got this uh, axle 90 degree connector with a two long axle, two of those. And in the middle, we're just gonna stick a regular Lego cylinder. And then uh, stick that on. The other foot is gonna be the same, but reversed. This is a 1x3 axle, which we're going to use to connect it to the body once we build the body. Let's do that. This is a lift arm. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 2 in that direction. I've put a 3 long pin in it. I love this piece. And then I've got um, some 2 long lift arms, which are going to go like so like so, but I won't put that one on yet. Then uh, I've got this uh, ball joint grabber to ball joint grabber, which I've put a another three long pin in. I'm gonna connect it like so, and like so. This is where the legs come in, down in this axle hole down in the bottom of the lift arm. So now we've got the legs on the body, except I put this on backwards. So let's flip that around. Pretend I did it right the first time. Yeah, so now it's on the other side of the lift arm from the slant, because that's where the head will connect. Let's just do the head first before the arms, because I'm feeling crazy. This is a ball joint to ball joint. Got a little bit of weirdness going on in between. This is another Throbot foot. Got some axles in there. Got an orange, trans-orange cone in there. And these cones are just gonna fit on these two long axles. Fit that to there and that to there. Now he's all legs and head and no arms. So let's do an arm. Again, this is a Throbot arm piece. Let's take that off for a second. Uh, Bionicle ball joint to ball joint grabber that has three studs in the middle. Uh, in this middle one, we've stuck a pinned axle connector. Up here, we've got a two long axle doing this axle to uh, pin. What's next? Oh, and then on the other side, we'll do axle to an owl connection with two half pins. This will all become clear soon, I hope. There we go. And then this is uh, a f number five, so whatever degree angle that is. This goes on there, and on top of that, I've got this um, 
weird bumpy shoulder pad piece and a 2x4 plate that could use some dusting. Put that right in the middle then put this uh, on those hinge pieces and now you've got your army shoulder shoulder of the arm this is the same but reversed this is a six long axle gonna put this through uh, the top one here and then uh, let's zoom out make his legs stand up properly there you go all ready to play baseball or cry when he loses and you put them all back together and you've got evil robot baseball team